Welcome back to Let's Play Mackay Kingdom Episode 4. Today I've gone ahead and created some characters that you guys have requested in the thread. And for our older characters, I simply renamed some of our characters to your requests. I got every just about everybody in there now. Um, there's a couple missing. We don't want to create too many characters at the beginning because um, just the way the leveling system works, if we have a light party without too many people, we'll progress faster through the game. So, although I'll still be taking requests for characters, um, don't be, don't expect to be used too much in battle at this point if you're a class that we've already have a lot of characters of. So without further ado, we're going to press on to the next stage here. This is the new netherworld, huh? Not so bad. I've been waiting for you, Zeta! You! This punk is Alexander, god of destruction, also known as Alejandro, Asshat, or Alex. He comes off like a know-it-all brat, but he is actually an overlord. <laughs> but even after 20,846 assassins and 6,413 meaningless wars, he still hasn't taken me down. What up, Alex? Spare the what's up crap! I'm here to end you! Not this again. How many times do I have to kick your sorry ass? Shut up! We're tied! And you know it! And this time, you're going down! Go home, kid. You can't win. I'm the strongest freaking overlord you'll ever piss off! The strongest? What are you gonna do, bookworm? Give me a paper cut? <laughs> like I haven't heard the book jokes a thousand times already. You want some wrath, little boy? Then keep on talking. I'm doing just fine in the literary world. You're full of it! There's no way you have that much power! You're a freaking book! <laughs> I didn't expect you to understand. I'm Lord Seda, one badass overlord! I can't move! Uh, <laughs> you idiot! Who's the overlord now, bitch? If your mana power's so great, why can't you get up, huh? Uh, <laughs> this is hilarious! What would your disciples say if she saw you like this? I don't have a disciple. She's dead to me. Oh, how cold-hearted, Master Zeta. Salome would cry if she heard you say that. Shut up. It's none of your business anyway. I suppose that's true. Should we continue our business then? Forget it, I don't need to prove anything. Even these guys could waste you at this point. Ah! <laughs> Hope they don't break your spine! <laughs> Damn, bastard! You'll pay for this. But first, I gotta... Get up! <sighs> I 
So at the beginning of stage 2, we've unlocked the ability to invite our facilities. I forgot to um, actually equip mine with anything, but we'll go over that, I guess, after this battle. Ooh, two stars on that flower. That's not too bad. I basically created you guys in the order that you posted in the thread. So people who posted earlier are going to be used a little bit more often in battle than the people who posted later. I'm not sure if I want to kill this guy yet, actually. You know what? I might invite a facility here. And the reason being is I can actually put people inside. You do that just by going uh, near the facility until the point where there's an arrow on, there's a little pink arrow on top of the facility, and then you can uh, select it and go place into, and the character will go inside. Facilities full. Now I can grab one of my characters, unequip her weapon, and we can lift that facility and then throw it. And then we can grab our characters from inside the facility and dump them out. So now they're close, closer to our enemies on the battlefield. That's something we'll be using quite a bit in the future. I think I'll leave that other character alive for now. Because I don't know what's going to appear over here. That should be a weak attack. It shouldn't kill him. Ooh, that was actually kind of close. And I need to remember to re-equip her weapon. We healed him even though it didn't do anything, just to uh, level up her weapon skill a little bit.
Well, that was unfortunate. HUD is only worth four points, so we're not going to bother destroying it. The probe actually is doing decent amount of damage. It's always a, uh, difficult to balance how many tiles you reveal on the map versus how many you leave hidden until you're ready to take on the, the amount of foes that come out of them. I think we're okay because we're on a pretty early stage. But we just took our second casualty, so maybe I should shut up for a minute. <laughs> is worth a lot. There's not really anything on the bonus gauge worth getting though. Unfortunately this battle cost us a lot because we have two people dead and they're gonna cost a lot to resurrect in the hospital. Eat this. Yeah. She might be able to cast a spell on us. Let's just concentrate on getting this mission done. So if we kill either of them, we're okay. Hmm. 
And I think we're just going to leave the map early. Well, let me see here. Yeah, because we do have a magician here. He will probably wreck someone. So I think we're just going to lick our wounds and take off out of the map for now. So let's see how much that actually cost us here. Oh, not too bad. 111. Not too bad. Okay. See if we can buy any upgraded weapons. Not really. We don't have much money still. Money's a problem for us right now. So let's proceed to the next mission. Alexander, god of destruction, huh? Why is he all up in our business? Something's not right. This netherworld is brand new, but he was there waiting for Zeta. Hmm. It is curious indeed. It's not possible, unless he can see the future somehow. You're the only one here with that power! <laughs> Flying. Hey! Why are you looking at me? They said it! It was Ophelia and Dryzen! We three are one. Our sin is Mickey's as well. You'll burn along with us, Mickey! <laughs> Kids have fun. It's time for this old man to go. No, Pram! Stop! You're making a mistake! I don't want to die! Hmm, an earthquake? Did I just hear Mickey screaming? Oh well, never mind. I should concentrate on these guys. Disperse loyal battle monkeys. Do my bidding and bust a cap! <laughs> I forgot about that line. I should have made that the Totoro. Okay, this one's a little weird. We got two keys here. Looks like we're going to have to open both of them in order to end this map. Nothing too fancy on the bonus list again. Hmm.
I was hoping to steal their weapons, but they have too much stuff on them. This guy weak to anything? He's weak to fire. I believe Commissioner... No, uh, someone did have fire. Yeah, it does. Twenty-three hit points. That might be enough. Oh yeah, there we go. So you saw that little flash with an image that showed up before this tile appeared? Um, there's special events that can happen sometimes. I think Thanksgiving just gives you some kind of different um, enemy types. So we got like a vegetable here and I forget what these guys are. They're worms or something. Apple seeds. And they're all carrying food. So they're actually not too much of a threat to us, which is good. Okay, this is a big, bigger threat though. Much bigger threat. Ooh. Just kind of retreat everybody. Geez, not quite. That's unfortunate. Try to put the healer on top just to lessen the chance that she'll get attacked. And I think that's all we can do this turn. We're sitting at zero points so far. This is not good. So the enemies can steal from you as well. Get our shirt back. Take this! Take this! 
I'm ready. He was ice, right? Oh no, he's fire. <laughs> you need a ball and chain there. That'd be nice to get. Casters are always dangerous because they can get you from a range. He's dead. Oh no. We lost two. Again, I'm trying to feed as many kills as I can to my main guy. Now, there's some tricks you can do in Makai Kingdom. I can't quite reach her, but what I could do is use the building trick again. So I could just summon any building here. I could put him inside. And then I can invite him at a distance here. And that should be just enough to get him close enough. I don't like how close those two casters are up here, these two witches. There's nothing saying you can't chain these buildings together, too.
I was debating whether I would keep that rock, but I don't think I need it. Yep, those witches are a problem. I knew they would be. Most buildings, when you invite them, also have some kind of effect that they do. So the hospital, when you uh, summon it on top of a unit, it will actually heal them. Great. <laughs> Great. Can't quite reach them now. Uh, maybe I could have somebody. Here. Here. She can always throw him. Worked out not too bad. So do we keep going for more stuff? Um Oh we lost our thief, so we can't steal. Uh one thing you can do. Where's my fifth guy? Who's right here? You can always put a character inside of a building and then summon a new character onto the field. So I'll try showing that off. Oh, I guess the hospital actually gives you uh, regeneration too. Oh, uh, never mind. Sorry. Uh, when you go inside of a hospital or any other buildings, some of them ha also have effects. So if I look at the status on this um, hospital here, below the, the name of the hospital, you'll see it has a protection thing. And it actually heals your hit points 10% each turn. Uh, the shop will give you 50% uh, extra money at the end of battle. That's only, I think, if you have uh, any bonus money on the, the gauge here. So instead of 100, you get what? What was it? Bonus 50%. So it'd be 150 instead of 100.
So we're using whatever trope we can to get our units a little closer. Let's see if I can get her glasses. Hey, we did. And there we go. Stage complete. So one thing I forgot to show off, um, just let me heal my characters first. Still strapped for cash. Dying costs us a lot of money right now. But something I didn't show off before at the beginning of the episode is we've actually unlocked some more classes now. So these are the monster classes. We have the bomber head. We have the apple seed. We have the cat kid. The walking corn. The errant pumpkin. And the carrot, evil carrot. Sorry, they can't just be carrots. They have to be evil. Um, so these are extra classes that we can confine our characters into. They have some pretty good stats, some of them. Like this one, the carrot has extra XP and extra mana. And something else I haven't shown off yet, I guess I could show this now, is we actually unlock, as our characters get higher level in their class, we will unlock higher tiers of that class. So what you'll see right now, I, don't, I haven't unlocked too many here, but just with this one, is his stats actually increase the higher we go up in tiers. So we'll cover that in more detail later when we unlock some more. And with that, we'll end this episode and I'll see you on the next one.